and 3,000 people left my channel. But if you're here for the very first time, remember to drop a follow and keep track of uh, Rayclast's progress. It's gonna help you remember. Now, before the break, we thought that there was a labor crisis, but another way of thinking about the same thing is we have excessive workplaces. We have an abundance of workplaces, you know? It's another way of thinking about it, but it makes sense. I have more workplaces than I need, so then I can just uh, unoccupy some of those workplaces and then uh, put some people into them later if it's needed. If I get some more... Uh, if I get some more nomads, maybe, or... Uh, or student graduating, then I will put people there, but for now, I don't need that much food, I don't need that much uh, firewood. I can put more people into the mine. I can max out the iron mine. Nah, maybe not max out, but we'll put more. And then some more stone cutters. Also, less builders. But also build... Um, build me a hospital. Number three. Uh, there's all, it's always safer, you know, to have a building for disease control before things get out of control, not after. Um, build a road. And I think since more and more people are gonna be walking around here, might as well just build a road here. Click. I won't be designating any physicians yet. I will only be designating physicians if I actually have uh, disease, but if I don't, it's fine. But I want the building to be there. <laughs> Lethal paper cut! Are you kidding me? I've been thinking about playing Banished for three weeks now, waiting impatiently for the game. I'm so into it, I'm glad, I'm glad you're here. I'm glad you found me. This game is amazing. Oh my god, this colony is nowhere near ready. You know what? Double click. Double click. I changed my mind. More laborers to collect those resources I have designated and build this. It's really the priority right now. Just get the labor done. And then I will put you into a mine as a reward. For your faithful service. And by the way, the giveaway for today is Orcs Must Die. A game that I have loved and played so much of. It's basically an action slash tower defense game. But instead of towers, you play traps. And you can kill orcs in all sorts of funny ways with those traps. It's a really good game. One of the best. My total recommendation for Orcs Must Die that I'm giving away today. The reserve of iron is low. Of course it is. It's been... Uh, and reserve of stone is low as well, as I'm building this. But hopefully the remove resources here uh, will provide me with what I need. Um. Um. Mouse. Yeah, I've selected everything here for collection. Mouse. Black. They will get it done, eventually. I think they just have to walk really far to get food. That's the problem, it's, it's a pretty remote colony. And I am actually losing... Oh god, now I have only 50 adults. Because everyone is getting stuck at school. Just permanent students. Living off their parents' uh, jobs. Never graduating, it's, it's a plague. It's a plague in real life, it's a plague here. You just gotta graduate. Gotta freaking graduate. I knew this was gonna happen, that's why I was hesitating when I first built a school. There's always this drop of workers when you build your first school. Since you your children stop turning into adults, they turn into students. There's always this drop. But the first one has graduated. Line has become an adult. He graduated. Yeah. My first graduate. And then Sierra has become a student. Calvis also became a student. Esmer Esmeralin has become a student. France has become a student. Good! Good for him. <laughs> Howardell. So many students now. Awesome, awesome. Oh, 
now I have way more gathering and hunting places. I think I want more hunters. Less builders now. Um, definitely want more hunters now. Since I really need to uh, increase my leather supply so that maybe I can build a second tailor. Um, um, um. Yeah, my leather is always staying low. Um, because my tailor is uh, working with all of it. My firewood supply has dropped quite well since I have uh, put my woodcutter numbers down, but I do need the laborers. And maybe it was just because I built new houses, they picked up the firewood to their uh, personal stockpiles, but maybe the firewood is okay overall. People dying left and right from old age. It does happen, it does happen. What can you do? The reserve of tools is low, now that is... No, no, it's gonna be fine. I think I'm still producing more than using up. Just slightly more. Need more miners at the, at the iron. It all comes down to those freaking students. There's 15 of those guys. And still only 50 working adults. Only 50. I need to get over that hump and everything will grow so much better. Uh, the death of old age happens kinda randomly depending on the state of the person's health. Obviously the worse health, the faster he will die. But it's predictable at, at around 60 to 70, I think. Between 50 and 70, I think. I haven't seen anyone having 80 years old, you know. Okay, base dust. That's the best way of playing. That's how I like enjoying streams. Play the game myself and then just lurk now and then. It's really cool. Nice to hear, buddy. Oh, 51 adults. I'm getting over the hump. Getting over it. Yeah! Children being born! Breed! Breed! A merchant has arrived. Oh. Please. Oh. Would you by any chance happen to have any animals? No, pear seeds, not interested. Space. Oh. I have nothing to trade. Regardless of what it would be that he has to offer. Oh. 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 I don't have anything here, good. I was just wondering, my herb uh, situation is looking really low. Fifty working adults now, come on! A miner has died of old age. I guess it's lucky. Usually miners die of a cave-in or explosion, but... This one died of old age, nicely done. See you, Titan Hunter! Thanks for the best wishes. No, 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 Edwangarian, I... I don't want fruits. You gotta take a deep breath. Find the fruits on your own. Enjoy the berries. You have fruits, you have berries. What are you talking about? Stop stop rioting with no reason. Look at this. Look, look at all the berries I'm getting you. Jesus Christ, what the hell? Uh, where is it? Production statistics. 502 berries? In the in the previous season, just eat them up, bro. Just eat them up. I could trade some food. Not everybody buys food, and I don't want to take that risk. I just took a few people off food, and it's actually dropping since I lowered my gatherer amounts. But I need to have uh, less people working in the food industry right now, since I need more people working on the iron and stone and tools and co and cloaks. All those things I am missing. So I, n I cannot trade any food now. 6k? 6,000? You, you may think it's a lot. It's not. It's not a lot. I'm running out of wood as well, so I need to increase my... Mm, I think foresters to 12. I can't even do that. Oh, I really need those students to graduate massively. If they don't, if I keep at 50 adults, everything's gonna crash and burn. I'm feeding too many children, I'm feeding too many students. They don't work for themselves. But what am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to do? Like, seriously. I don't see what I'm supposed to do. I've collected all the stone and... 
and iron that makes sense to collect from the land itself. I just gotta rely on my mines for now on. Oh, there's some iron here, I guess. Remove resources. Mouse. Remove resources. Mouse. Click. But that's like nothing compared to the needs of our people. But the tools have been growing. It's a stockpile of 30. It's not at zero anymore. It's good, it's good. Oh, no more firewood and it's winter. Okay, bringing, down, bringing it up to, to four woodcutters again. Should alleviate the situation decently fast. Yeah, once they graduate, everything's gonna be fine. Until then, I think I need to even uh, lower down my gatherer amounts even further. I have enough of a food supply. Thunder Rainbow, don't worry about it. If you can still hear me, just come back when you have a good internet connection. Anytime you can, just come by. That's enough. That's good enough. I think a really cool statistic is comparing the amount of families to the amount of homes. If I have so many more homes and families, then I think I don't need to build any more homes. Although these seem to be... Oh, this... or Oh, God. Look at this. Oralia is 86 and still a miner. Like, I would understand 86 and a gatherer, 86 and a, uh, a herdsman, 86 a miner? That lady's literally got it in her. Wow. Wow. Oh, Squirrel Baggins, I'm glad you enjoyed it. I kind of had this idea that it would be a, a good thing to make it into a fully blown VOD on YouTube and everything. Because it's, it's a cool start to finish playthrough. How am I doing? Uh, my hands are really broken recently. So I have actually announced that my stream will not be as regular as it as it's was. Because my hand injury is, is really preventing me from doing that. The full uh, announcement will be put as a, as a highlight after today's stream so you can, you can watch it. But... Basically, I'm uh, making Joyful Rogue stream a little bit more irregular, unfortunately. But hope it's all gonna turn out okay after all. That is one muscular old lady with a one healthy back, I guess. God damn. She can really take it. Oh, look at this. I'm getting more, more and more laborers now. Oh, things are moving ahead. Uh, what do I want? What do I want? What do I want? What's my priority? Iron. Miners. Three more miners. Yeah, graduate, you bastards! Intense mining is well known for keeping old ladies fit. <laughs> proven! If it's proven, you can't argue it, because it's proven. I also want to build a... home. Number four. Number four. A little bit more fishing dogs. I won't put any workers in there, but it's a smart thing nonetheless, because if I get a wave of nomads, build a road. If I get a wave of nomads, then I can put, I can dump them all into fishing, and they will be self-sustainable. It's a pretty nice thing. And if I get a food crisis, I can always dump my miners into into fishing. Omen, welcome back! Nice to have you here again. Hopefully it's gonna stay that way. Okay, so I, I don't have any problems with wood. Now that I have reinstated my four woodcutters, everything's fine. Everything's totally okay. I don't need more, more, more uh, houses either. I think I'm fine, I just need to wait for more people to graduate and uh, repopulate all those jobs that I've been missing. Double click. And then I will uh, start getting a much higher food stockpile since I, I will repopulate my gatherers at least to 12. Oh. Once we get a doctor, our population should ramp. 
Does Doctor actually increase the population? Like, seriously? Is that something that actually happens? Double click. Um. 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 This hospital, by the way, speaking of doctors, this hospital has been on the queue forever and it's not being built. I suppose the few builders I had were prioritizing this uh, forest colony here. What are your current thoughts about the game Banished? I am completely into it, dude. I love it. It doesn't have any combat, and that's what I love about it. It's the first town builder that I've seen in which it is actually difficult to survive. In which you are battling the elements, the hunger. I love it. It's just what I wanted. If, if it sounds good for you as well, get it. It's good. So, a storm, welcome there, welcome there. If you prefer combat, I actually don't like combat in uh, in No Moria or Dwarf Fortress. I think it's 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 the shitty part of the game actually, and I wish there wasn't any combat because it's so hard to control, so fiddly and buggy. Hate it. So I'm really happy that this and it's not like SimCity. In SimCity, it's pretty much impossible to lose. Like sure you can run out of money, but that's for for retards or people who. No offense, but, or for people who really screw around doing bad things. Here, the game will kick your ass. Like, survival is actually a thing. Not, it's not just like, if you horribly mismanage, you die. But if you don't play good, you actually die. The game is punishing, and I love that. It's so much easier to actually lose than in SimCity. Oh. SimCity is about building up. It's about getting it to greatness. Here... It's about surviving. It's not about greatness. It's pretty cool. It's like, don't starve the town game. <laughs> Love it. And I don't need any food from that guy. Okay, my, my reserve of food is slowly dropping down. But now that I'm getting more and more laborers, why don't they just get, a, get going with this hospital over here? What the hell? Um. Space. I guess I have this order to collect the resources from the fringes of my colony and they are preoccupied with that rather than building the hospital. It's understandable. And I didn't need those resources at the time. So I suppose I will let them get away with it. Oh, it also seems that my supply here is too small and, they, and my stockpile here is too, sl too small. And they have basically run out of stockpile space, so they have to carry those resources way, way far away. And it is... No, actually, this is a storage barn over here, so it's fine. But it could have been better, let's just say. The combat in No Moria isn't buggy. It is. Uh, in terms of equipment, maybe not buggy, just extremely frustrating. Maybe the bugs are a result of my incompetence. What do you play in general? Oh, you're asking Pixie. Never mind. Um. Um. And look at this, the mine actually can run out, and after it runs out, I have to find another spot for a mine, which is not easy. Can a mine be built here? I wonder. Um. If yes, then I will just destroy the road, because it's really hard to find a good place for a mine. No, I think I tried before and... Mm. No, I think I tried before! Or did I? Shit, I don't know. I will do it. I will destroy this road. Just to see if a mine can fit in there. It's really important. Later on in the game, if I run out of good places for the mines, I could really be in trouble. So I want to designate those, recognize and designate them. While I still can. Here? Oh, beautiful, beautiful. Oh, you know what? If I can have a nice place over here... Maybe I can keep this road. Maybe it's okay. This mountain is, has been pretty generous to me. And then I can maybe... Get another mine here. 
Can I? Can I? Oh, I can. This is a beautifully shaped mine. Usually it's such a pain in the ass to place mines, but this mine, this mountain has really nice square uh, pieces of wall. Really good. Really good. Oh, 10 laborers now. Look at this. I am coming back to this game. Okay, max out on miners. Um, two more foresters. We need more wood for construction. Build my gatherers to ten, and then leave the laborers there. It's looking good. It's looking good. I could maybe ink. Maybe build another blacksmith now that I'm getting more iron. Build the third blacksmith, get more for sale, you know? Yeah, yeah. But it does seem like I am uh, swimming going down in the amount of logs, so let's bring up my bring up my foresters even more. Drops drop two gatherers. Pretty soon the food situation will stop being so comfortable, but for now it's all looking good. How many students? 20 students for one school. So I'm not maxing out yet, it's fine, it's fine. I may want to consider building some houses soon, since uh, the population did grow. But I think maybe not yet, maybe not yet. Although, no, no, let's get some. So, in order to decide where to build my houses, I will use this pathfinding tool to see if people here are actually working where they are living. They are. There's enough... Uh, there's enough houses there. Is there enough houses here? Um, um, um. Maybe one more house in here. Build a house. What happened? Amantha the miner who was killed by a cave in. Aw. Amantha! I we remember you. Oh. The miners are all living kinda nearby, that's very good. The quarry people are living kinda nearby. The hospital is getting built, that's good, that's good. I think here I did build a lot of houses and they're totally should be in a good place with that. Yeah, yeah, it's fine. It's all good, it's all good. I don't think I need any more houses right now. Build a house. Maybe I can squeeze one in here. Hey, Joe, it's been a while. Tell me if this game is worth it. Bafer, if you like... If you, would, if you think you would enjoy a city-building game that is based mostly on survival, then it is absolutely worth it, yes. I am 100% happy with my purchase. Loving it. Just loving it. Oh. And we've got a hospital, but... I don't think I want to desi designate a physician yet. I think I would prefer him to be a laborer until we get struck by some disease. more students graduating or less foresters or something it's not looking very sharp only one laborer that's, that's ill-advised and my food is dropping all the time I I think 15 miners may have been uh, just a nice fantasy but it needs to be 12 gatherers sorry miners but my food is dropping and I can't have that so I need to be gathering more How's my coat? Home. 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 I'm still not stockpiling leather. It's looking mostly okay, but I really need more population. 
I would be so happy if a bunch of nomads just came now. Jolina just became an adult. Nice. Good. Good. Sela has graduated as well. Merchant! Um. 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 Pear seeds. Nope. Nope. Giselda was born. Rona became a student. Nice to see that my settlement is thriving. But building takes such a long time here, it seems. I queued up this, I queued up this blacksmith so, such a long time ago, and yet it's just now getting made. And I still don't have iron. Yeah, maybe it's just iron. It does require a lot of iron to build. Okay. What would be the next step for the settlement? I think just I, just... I just need laborers. I don't need to build more. I have built quite enough. Now, I just need to populate the buildings I have built. Building more is just gonna take away the iron I need for the blacksmiths. Um. Oh shit. Oh shit, the population's dipping down again. I'm lacking in laborers. The happiness has dropped to four stars, but it's not really too scary to see my happiness drop to four stars. It's totally fine. I don't care. There's a lot of iron. It's looking really nice around this mine. But it all got eaten up by blacksmiths. Now, I could give give it a third blacksmith. I think I will. I want those tools. Um. 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 Double clack. Double clack. Um. I want so many tools, I can just stockpile some easy peasy in my uh, trader and uh, buy anything else. I have two. I, I have seeds, amazing. I have seeds, but... I haven't filled up my gatherers and hunters yet. I need more people before I start building farms. Because there's no one yet who will be able to work those farms yet. I kind of have a population decrease lately and... I'm just... I just need more babies, goddammit. Um. Um. Build a house. Maybe I just need to build more houses. Build a house. Build a house. Rotate. Oh, no, I shouldn't build them here. Because what if I want crop fields to be on the right there? Um. Um. Click. Um. 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 Mouse. Click. Yeah. It's a little bit far away from the market, but... Still in range. If that means anything. Build a house. Would love to get some here. That's uh, just barely not enough room. Build the road. Can get it like this. Awesome. This game looks a bit rectangly. Rectangly? I have never seen that word in my life before, Wafer. Wafer, I think it is. Wafer, I don't know where you found it. I don't need bacteria, children. Erangarian, you need to be a human. No bacteria allowed. I even have a hospital. Stay away. <laughs> Looking okay though. 
I it's not like I'm lacking anything. The few the food has increased back up. Maybe I just uh, made a mistake of not building enough houses. Maybe I misinterpreted my situation. I should have actually built more houses. Maybe that's the case. Can't tell. What I can tell is this road is in the wrong place. I could just destroy this road. Build a road. Build it close. Oh shit, no, I was wrong. I thought I could place this road a, a little bit closer to the mine. I guess I can't. Okay, never mind. Shit. You know, I was hoping. Because if I uh, got that road closer to the mine, then I would actually fit in a row of houses. And that would be nice to fit in. But I can't. Come on, graduate people. And breed. I have only 8 students. And 60. This means the, the number of adults will be dropping. Actually. As the number of students has dropped. Less will be graduating, so less will be working. Shit. How do I get them to breed? Come on. We need to move in together. Yeah, they are moving in together. I... I should have built a house this long time ago, I suppose. Build the road. Build the road. Build a house. Quick. Alright. The reserve of tools and uh, clothes are nicely growing, so if I find any animals in those traders, I will be able to get them. All your buildings are made at right angles. Where are cute curving paths that lead to a gingerbread house? <laughs> There's no gingerbread houses, only survival here in Rayclast. It's a harsh land. People have no time to fuck around like you're suggesting. <laughs> Gotta get that efficiency. I can make a doctor, but do I want to? If there's no disease and the health is at four and a half, I don't think I want to waste a precious laborer to be working as a doctor, honestly.